Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mohamed Nasser. I'm the CEO at Vexhost. Um, I'm also uh, uh, used to be the project team lead for a couple of uh, OpenStack projects uh, with deploy that were specific to deploying OpenStack, such as uh, Puppet OpenStack and OpenStack Ansible, um, as well as I currently sit um, as a member of the OpenStack Technical Committee. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about our story and experience with open infrastructure. Um, and so we're involved in a couple of the projects that are open infrastructure projects, uh, primarily at the moment OpenStack and Zool. Uh, we use OpenStack to deliver um, infrastructure as a service, um, both in our public cloud and for many customers um, in private clouds that are hosted inside their data centers or inside our data centers. We also leverage Zool um, extensively as a CI tool for our, our uh, both our infrastructure and our internal tooling, um, and as well as, as the excellent gating tool uh, that it is. Um, and we're also evaluating a lot of the new um, open infrastructure projects, um, such as Airship, and seeing how they fit um, in kind of our, our way of delivering uh, infrastructure as a service for our customers. Um, we also try our best to contribute upstream. Um, so we actually provide upstream CI resources to the community. Um, a lot of the uh, tests that run uh, for the OpenStack project and some of the other open infrastructure projects are ran inside virtual machines running in our public cloud. And so we're really, hap we're really happy about that. Um, and we also provide infrastructure for OpenDev. So some of the uh, user-facing components of the um, OpenDev community, such as uh, the Gatia server and some of the other infrastructure components are running um, on our public cloud. And, and we're really happy to support that. Um, as well as you know, co uh, code and documentation um, uh, contributions into a project such as uh, OpenStack um, and some con uh, contributions to uh, the Zool jobs, uh, which is really a collection of Ansible roles that are ran inside uh, uh, Zool to execute jobs. So I want to talk a little bit about how we were able to leverage uh, these contributions that we do, not only to help the community, but also how to kind of how we've been able to deliver kind of a, a uh, a nicer product for our users. So I want to share some of the new things that uh, we've been able to accomplish, um, really just using a lot of the benefits that we get from uh, open infrastructure projects. And uh, first of all, we are launching uh, new uh, high performance hardware um, that's being rolled out across all of our data centers. Um, and it's already um, in running right now in production as of today uh, inside our Montreal region. Um, it's powered by the you know, new AMD EPIC uh, Gen 2 um, systems and using the fastest uh, server memory on the market, DDR4, you know, a 3,200 megahertz memory, um, and with extremely high performance uh, local storage. Uh, so you can use it for things like um, any machine learning cases or any uh, cases like CI that require very high performance local storage, but not necessarily um, persistent fast local storage. Um, on that note, if you also do require persistent and fast local storage, we're also rolling out uh, NVMe-based storage across all of our uh, regions. Um, and that's actually in the process of happening right now. Uh, because of the awesome power of Ceph, we're actually able to migrate all of our existing customers that are currently using SSDs um, and migrate them straight into high-performance NVMe drives, which means that the uh, there will be performance increases with not even a reboot of, of a system. The, the changes will just happen on their own. That's kind of one of the powerful things that we can get um, out of open source. Um, so that's you know tremendous and should allow for awesome performance for workloads that need persistent storage. Um, and finally, another thing that's really exciting is a lot of our customers have asked us to uh, about uh, you know setting up a cloud in, in Europe. Uh, and I'm really excited to say that um, as of uh, as of now, we have a region open in Amsterdam. Uh, so that'll be our first uh, region inside Europe. Um, and the exciting thing is all this new hardware that we just talked about is all available there right now from day one. Uh, so you'll have the fastest uh, performance systems with the fastest storage. And what I'm most excited about is we'll be running Victoria, which is the most recent release of OpenStack, uh, from day one. So that cloud is currently in, in early access. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit later about how you can have access to it uh, starting today. And what's exciting is all these hardware options and these performance improvements are all available for our customers, uh, for our private cloud customers as well. 
So really, I'm really excited. I'm proud to say that our entire stack is open source, like from the top to bottom, and and from basic things to using something like Netbox as uh, our data center infrastructure management tool, uh, to as complex as using Ceph for distributed storage or OpenStack as um, our infrastructure as a service platform, to even using things like Kubernetes and Helm to deploy OpenStack um, and have a reliable way of rolling it out across our entire fleet. Um, and so we feel like our investment into open source um, really helps the community, um, it helps us. Everybody really wins when we uh, invest in open source. Um, it also allows us to uh, make technology more accessible. Um, and so what I mean by that is, you know, we're especially living in a time where um, a lot of uh, companies and perhaps small businesses are being kind of surprised and uh, into moving to the cloud because of the circumstances that we live in. Um, and so they need to do that as quickly as possible. And a lot of times the switch to cloud can uh, be quite uh, expensive at times. And so because we're able to leverage open source and we want to make open source as accessible as possible, um, we're kind of announcing uh, a huge um, and very aggressive pricing that we believe should make uh, the cloud more accessible to more companies. Uh, generally in comparison to the market um, for, you know, pretty much the exact hardware and just as uh, performance systems uh, with access to a completely open API with no vendor lock-in, you're seeing almost 30% uh, of savings on your infrastructure costs uh, simply by using you know, something like that's you know, based on OpenStack because we're able to leverage all the um, you know, advantages of open source. And uh, it's really exciting because uh, not only are you able to save uh, by actually uh, you know, going with an option like ours, but you also have the option of avoiding vendor lock-in. And so, you know, while we'd love to serve you and build a private cloud for you, if you reach a scale where it makes sense to run your own private cloud, you can continue to do that and, and you would be able to run it um, completely open source without having to re-engineer or enter a new ecosystem. You're already part of the OpenStack ecosystem and you'll be able to leverage all these same APIs, whether it's in a private cloud or a public cloud. Uh, really, to, to kind of end on this, I'd like uh, to thank the entire open source community um, because of the open source efforts that it's all of this. It helps us uh, make a really awesome product and at the same time um, still be able to uh, deliver you know, and be able to be part of the upstream community. And we feel like if, if it wasn't for open source, we wouldn't be able to make kind of products like this more accessible. Um, to the small businesses um, and the corporations that are looking to get engaged um, in these type of softwares. So, you know, I'd like to close this with kind of being, giving a big thank you to the uh, open source communities um, and, you know, saying that's maybe a big part of what is happening uh, and, and uh, giving the ability for small businesses to um, be able to use infrastructure as a service in a much more accessible manner. Uh, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the uh, Open Infrastructure uh, Summit. Thank you very much, everyone.